These videos are offered on a pay-what-you-like basis. You can pay for the use of the videos at my website. There is a link to my website in the info box. The address is www.freelance-teacher.com slash videos dot htm or you can just use the link in the info box. By the way, I also offer tutoring via Skype and you can find more information about that Skype tutoring service at my website. Thanks. Our job here is to figure out whether this is RRS. Yes. Yeah. Well, I'll simply show you what I think is the best approach here. And I'm basically just going to be modeling the approach that I have in that video series on R and S. If you guys got this wrong, it's probably because you got the priorities wrong. So let me remind you what I think is the best approach for the priorities. The first thing is, let's put an asterisk on the stereo center. Where's the stereo center? The thing to emphasize here is the notation. If you got it wrong, you're probably not using the best notation. So I'm going to try to emphasize what the notation is on the board. Now I'm going to put a dot next to the four atoms that are directly connected to the stereo center. So what are the four atoms that we're originally comparing? Carbon, 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 and carbon. All these carbons. Try to get in this habit of putting in the dots that indicate the atoms that you're comparing. And so far, we're frustrated because there's a four-way tie. So far, there's a four-way tie. And now the next part of the notation is very important. To break the tie, we're going to list the three atoms that each of these atoms is attached to. What are the three atoms that this atom is attached to? H, H, and a C. Okay, and what order should we list those in? C, H, H. It's important to always list the top priority at the beginning of your list. Here's the three atoms that this carbon is attached to. And when you're ready, we'll make the list for this carbon. Which one? Oh, the bottom one? B, R, H, H. B, R, H, H. As you guys are saying, we should put the bromine at the top, because that's the best priority. The other one's H, H, H. And the other one is C, H, C, H, C, H. Now, C, C, and then H. We're only supposed to list atoms, not groups. Something that would probably help. So what were the three atoms here? C, C, and H. That's right. Although, since there was a little confusion there, we probably should have redrawn this like this. Take your time and uncondense the condensed notation. Uncondense the condensed notation so we can see exactly who is attached to whom. And now we can see that the three atoms that this dark carbon are attached to are a carbon, a carbon, and a hydrogen. We can start to see where the dots are helpful here. The reason people get confused is because everybody's a carbon. There's so many carbons that it's easy to lose track of who you're focusing on. So it's important to put the dots in to remind us which carbons we're comparing here. We're comparing the carbons with the dots. And now we've made our list of the three atoms that each of the dotted carbons is attached to. So then you just go, you compare the first ones and then you go down. Which of these would be the top priority then? CH2BR. The this is the best because it has a bromine that beats everybody else, so this is priority one. Then the top one. Then the C. Because this carbon beats this hydrogen. And then the CH. However, we know but that we're on. Our lowest priority on a dash. Uh, the method I use in the video is very simple, so I think this is this is the best method, method I guess for anyone to use. In fact, uh, so in fact, you guys have the uh, stereochemistry handouts. It's summarized in the stereochemistry handout. I can't believe it. Me too. And that's probably one of the many things that are very So here, the stereo comes yeah, you guys need it. No, we didn't. It goes through the three steps. The first step is to make a swap so the number four is pointing away from us. So who should we swap the number four with? Here's something interesting. You don't need to redraw the whole molecule. Just swap the numbers. Just swap the numbers. That's good enough. We don't actually have to swap the CH2, CH3, and the CH3 over here. Just where the 4 used to be, I've crossed that out and replaced it with a 3. And where the 3 used to be, I've crossed that out and replaced it with the 4. That's all we have to do to swap the 3 and the 4 here. Any single, you can do it with any single one? Well, possibly you could, but the only one that's helpful is to swap the number 4 so it's pointing yeah. away from you. We want to yeah, swap, yeah. yeah. I mean, but can you, like, you want that where the where the 4 is, that was a line, you want it to be dashed, right? In fact, what we're actually doing is we are putting the 4 on the dash. We're not turning this into a dash. We're putting the 4 on the dash. 
We're simply putting the four where the dash is and a three on the line. And the nice thing is we do not have to redraw the molecule. We don't need to redraw. All you have to do is cross out a pair of numbers and redraw new numbers. Now, what's the configuration of the numbers on the page? On the page, the configuration is clockwise or counterclockwise. On the page, this is now S? Good. However, that means that if the number four was over here, it would be S. But remember, we made a single swap. So what was the configuration before the single swap? Well, we learned that from the single swap rule. A single swap always gives you the opposite configuration. A single swap always gives you the opposite configuration. Yeah. I so we can cross this out and put in the R. So you um, do you a might single swap and figure out what it is and then reverse that. You make a single swap, you write down the letter for the numbers, and then you cross out that letter and write the other number, and write the other letter. There's absolutely no thinking involved. And with practice, you can do this in 10 seconds. Uh, if you take a look at the handout here, here's the method. Step one, swap the priority four so that it's pointing you to the page. Step two, figure out whether the new priority, whether the new arrangement on the page is R or S. And step three, cross out your answer from part two, and the real answer is the opposite of that. This really is, uh, maybe the first time you see it, it seems complicated, but this really is an ultra simple method. It doesn't require any visualization or redrawing. The only redrawing necessary is crossing out this pair of numbers and putting in a new pair of numbers and crossing out the original letter and putting in a new letter. And the advantage is this always works. It looks like some of you are trying to learn some shortcuts, uh, but this is already so short that you don't really need a shortcut based on this. Again, if you already have a method that's getting these problems right, that's great. Uh, but if you don't have a method that's getting these problems right for you yet, I do think this is the best and the fastest method. And there's about 20 examples of this in the videos. For this example, how do I phrase it? It's not, it's it's work, it's, I did the priorities right. No, 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 I know, but I'm saying, like, remember the substituents where I, like, it's went to substituent? Yeah, but it doesn't work for any of these. Kind of <laughs> I know, because they're drawn this way already. You know what I mean? But when they're, like, let's say it was drawn like this, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. Um, I guess, what would you number priority first? Does it matter that these aren't necessary like substituents? They're just part of the carbon chain? But you still would number them one, two, three, four? That's right. They, they are substituents when we look at it this way. You simply, yes. after all, that, that's exactly what we have here. Yeah. There's no difference between what you just wrote down and this. Okay. These are carbon chains and those are because carbon although chains. Although it's a carbon chain, the, you're looking at one single carbon and everything else connected to it would be considered substituents. That's right, for, for the purposes of R and S. That's right. Okay. Again, really the best method is put an asterisk on the stereocenter, then put dots on the four atoms that are directly connected to the stereocenter. It doesn't matter that we don't normally think of carbon chains as substituents. For purposes of uh, considering R and S, we want to compare these four dotted carbons. And it doesn't really matter whether this is in the, 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 uh, the bond line notation or not. So the method we just went through here works for any picture. It works for Fisher projections or for a picture that looks like this. And it works just fine for a picture like this as well.